The other German giant, <laughs> I might add, at over 300 pounds, Dan. The audience reaction says it all. Gunther Schlierkamp is certainly one of the most popular figures in the sport. He is now competing in his eighth Mr. Olympia. He weighs in at over 300 pounds. He's got one career win to his credit, but, Sean, it was a big one. It was a monster, and he's actually made a career out of that. He Granted, he did beat Ronnie Coleman. He did come back. Ronnie flew all the way in from Holland to get upset by Gunther Schlierkamp, the golden boy of bodybuilding, gracing the covers of Flex Magazine. But you know what? Tonight, it looks like he's brought the package that may be able to crack that top four. You know, it was interesting. Last year, he made his way into the top six, uh, somewhat controversially. A lot of people didn't feel like he belonged in that group. But uh, And then when the uh, challenge round ensued, he lost every challenge comparison. But uh, I know he was back. He was on a mission to prove some folks wrong. But I think part of losing those poses, Dan, didn't have to, have to do with the fact that he's not a great bodybuilder. He wasn't in condition, and if you're not in condition, you can get beat by everybody, which happened to Gunther a year ago. Tonight, we're going to see a different uh, result, I believe, because Gunther is markedly in better condition than he was a year ago. Well, I know a lot of his critics really wanted to see him bring down his waistline. Obviously, he does have some structural challenges. His hips are a bit wide, so it does make it a little bit more difficult. Well, you know what? When you have those structural flaws, you hire the best guys that can help you get there. He's working with Charles Glass. He's working with Chad Nichols. This guy brought back the old team that helped them beat Ronnie Coleman. And at six feet tall and 300 pounds, that's a lot of muscle you got to carry to diet down to 300 pounds. 300 pounds. That's a, what does he bulk up to? <laughs> and, and it's funny because a lot of people talk about marketability and bodybuilding. And uh, this guy, the cameras love him, the fans love him. And if he were to win tonight, uh, the sport could certainly do a whole lot worse in terms of uh, promotion and marketability. Well, he's another guy like Dorian Yates and even Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's maximized what he's had to work with. I mean, he's not a genetic freak. Whatever about a bit of muscle he's got, Dan, he's had to earn. Glad he switched up on the music and went with more powerful music to match his physique because he's notably uh, for posing the softer, gentler music. I mean, I think you got to just have some self-awareness for, for Gunther. For those people who know him, they know he was very gentle, but physically, uh, he's far from gentle. He's a giant in the sport, and uh, he needed some powerful music. Well, all he had to do, Dan, was bring the conditioning back, and he brought the conditioning back, which is what got him to the Olympia in the first place. By the way, when he came in that year, and wound up in fifth place. That was on an invitation. He wasn't even qualified. So to get invited to the Olympia, make the top five, two weeks later upset Mr. Olympia, and wind up staying in the top five, this guy means business. It's, it's one thing to place top five, another thing to fall out of it. He's and back. It, and it was in 2001 where he finished 15th, and uh, since then he's decided to get serious, and he has remained a force in this sport now for about four consecutive years. It's hard enough to leave home, Dan. But to leave all the way to California and train at the Mecca of bodybuilding, this guy's living the same dream that Arnold Schwarzenegger lived. Yeah, he's one of these guys who really credits Joe Weider, of course, uh, the founder of this event, uh, for a lot of his success. Got the Schlierkamp. 